Bay Area-based Headlands Research was involved in the clinical trials for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, but their work is far from over. And we need hopefully three to four, if not more of those to succeed. Uh, if we're going to really try to get across the whole global population and as fast as we can. Headlands is also working with Johnson & Johnson and with AstraZeneca. Both pharmaceutical companies have large-scale trials underway, possibly involving 30,000 people that will wrap up sometime in January and early February. This map shows that most of the trial sites are in the south, and that's important to researchers to have access to patients who come from diverse backgrounds. COVID has disproportionately infected and claimed the lives of members of ethnic and racial minority groups. We had sites in, in Texas and Louisiana. We had 90% Latinx population across one of the trials in Moderna and in excess of 40% African American, our Atlanta site across this. And that's really important for the trials that we get that diversity enrollment. Such enrollment in the clinical trials could address concerns about vaccine safety or their efficacy. As the vaccinations get underway, data will be collected to track granular details, such as adverse reactions and which vaccine a patient received and when. This will help with future vaccine development. It's made possible because each vaccine has a tracker. You can make sure who's gotten the vaccine, make sure they have a follow up. A lot of this is done being done electronically. And when you're trying to vaccinate 320 million people, ideally across the United States, you can't really do it on a paper format. By the end of the trials, it's estimated as many as 164,000 Americans will have participated.